The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hello, it's Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the uh, Friday the 12th of July. We're looking at the uh, S&P right now, up 23. Now, this is going to be very important because um, in the, the there was a pullback initially on the uh, numbers, the uh, uh, earlier economic numbers, and then a little later on, you've got uh, the uh, sentiment numbers for where did I, if I can just find it right here. What time is that? That'll be 9.39. No, it was later on. Yeah, so then you've got the Michigan, uh, thank you, Flesh in the Den, uh, Michigan preliminary July consumer sentiment falls to 66 versus the estimate of 68.5. So a lot of things are going on here. And I, I just need to show you this because really on a Chapman Wave uh, methodology, if that nine period moving average here in the five minute chart of the E mini continues to be positive like this, you can go peak A, you in leg B, and you in leg B right now because it's it's going to a higher high. Uh, you could still go to a C and a D, and in the ten minute chart it confirms because that's also in B, but it needs to you've crossed the two hundred period moving average um, in the. 9 and 14, they're testing it right now. If they cross above it, that's going to be positive. So this is going to – any pullback from here on into the 10, 10 20 to 10, 40 time frame, that has to be monitored. Why? Let me, now I can go to the charts, and I want to show you something really interesting. Um, I know there's a lot of talk about this is it, this is the end, we're going down, we check, uh, you know, this is the, the um, semis are tanking and all that. I'm saying to you, wait a minute. Look at this. Bill's first source. What a move down it had after a spectacular move up. In the monthly chart, it runs from the uh, 60 area just about a year and a half ago, maybe two years, and it screams up to over 200. And then it gives back a chunk. It goes down to the 130, uh, 131 area just a few days ago. And just from 131, in, in a, I think it's about six sessions. It's gone to 154, close to the 200 period moving average of 157 in the daily chart. Those are big moves for areas like this. Uh, someone had mentioned nail. I had forgotten about nail completely. I used to follow it closely and I just forgot about it. Nail is the um, DX home builders, home builder and supply, I think ETF. It's gone, same thing, from the 82 level to 114. It's gone above the high that was made back on the 10th of June at 100 and, uh, about 113. Those are very quick moves. So when you see something like an SMH, which is really important, this is Technical Friday, so I'm going to be quite technical here. Um, the semiconductor ETF go to an all-time high yesterday. Break above the 279.57 20th of June high after a cup formation, screams to a new high, and then just tanks. One of the ugliest red candles we've had. Um, I'd have to say as a candle, I might have to say ever, but at least that candle that went to the low back in April, that was an ugly candle. Look at that. On a percentage basis, maybe it's uh, even bigger. Uh, 208 round number high on the 19th of April, with 100 and 198.64 or 44 low. Wow, and that was the low, 198.44 on the 19th. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So look at this. It was an ugly candle at the exact top on the, on the 20th. Big red candle. There was a bigger candle yesterday. And look what we've done. We rallied up to 275.71, up 469. So what I say to subscribers is, while they are anticipated, uh, this is my daily news there, my trader's corner, uh, while the anticipated rotation to the IWM, the Russell 2000, we'll get into that in a moment, might have brought, begun without another big sell-off today in the tech sector, this might just be a hiccup for now. Now, that's really interesting 
because I wanted to give it a test today to say that if by 10.15 this morning there was a bounce, and then after that there was a failure in the tech sector, Not I'm not talking about the Dow, I'm not talking about the IWM, I'm talking about specifically the tech sector, that would be a big deal because there's a chance that bad news comes in over the weekend and then Monday could be quite ugly. And then you make that dreaded H pattern. But I'm still considering that the SMHs, uh, and now I need to do this because it's Technical Friday. Let me just show you something here. And the reason why I'm holding off, trying to get overly negative on the uh, semis, is this indicator, and I, I'm hoping that I can do a, uh, I've been asked about it a number of times by subscribers. If I would go through this in, in greater detail, I try to do that on my weekend overview. But let me show you. That 9 period moving average crossed positive the last time back on the fourth, uh, the 6th of May at about 2.22. We've run all the way into the 280s, and that green 9 period moving average, even with the dips, is still held beautiful. I call it the indicator of last resort. If you're looking at, um, let me go to the IWM. Now I can talk because I'm talking about these two different things. The IWM was negative, negative, negative as the Dow and the other indices were screaming to new all-time highs. And now look what's happened. Look at the distance between that skyrocket to the moon right here above the nine-period moving average, flipping to green. And that just says, there's a good chance with this kind of momentum, if the aperture, the distance between the 9 and the 14 continue to widen, that the IWM, the Russell 2000, could finally be seeing some kind, oops, I didn't mean to do that, some kind of buying pressure as opposed to either selling pressure or just lack of buying pressure, which kept it in that range. And that'll be a change. And that's the thing that I wanted to talk about because, and I'll start doing it, uh, uh, I, I don't know if I'll be doing it tonight or tomorrow morning, my overview for my subscribers. So if you're a subscriber to my opening call, you get, besides my daily newsletter, which is uh, pretty intense every day, um, and you've got my weekend hour-long overview. It's like almost like a webinar. It's an overview. And I want to start looking at what stocks, what areas could possibly be working for the next phase of the market. Because I think what we're looking at here, it's telling me in no uncertain terms that there's a really good chance, and it's just a chance at this particular point, that the semis are going to take a breather. And that's really what I'm looking at here. So SMH, it could be, even if it's in a rectangle formation, going back to the high of yesterday, which was an all-time high of uh, 283.07, 87 or 07, I'm going to put 87. Let me just type that in here, 283, uh, 283.07. And to the low that was made down to the two, uh, 269 area. So this could just be sideways, but it is a leg D in the weekly chart. The weekly chart technicals are all still good, so it's going to be the daily. Well, the daily has a strong nine period moving average over the 14. MACD's just start to weaken. It's very close to turning negative. Stochastic has gone from over, well over 80% to 79.42. So there are some indicators that say, well, we might get this rolling traction where other areas start to take up the slack. And that's why I mentioned the uh, builder and I mentioned the nail, TF or what was it? Uh, construction, etc. I'll be back in a moment. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. 
published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The Gold Report as a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the US futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hello, so just let me go to Technical Fridays. So I wanted to show you this. So look how the nine feet move the car. I was busy. I just didn't have a chance to do it. I could have done it, and I just decided I, was, I wanted to focus on what I was focusing on, so I didn't. Look at that nine period moving average cross beautiful just before the opening of the of the of the market it crossed green and it's still green it's gone from 5645 um, to where we are right now we went to 5666 I mean that's a nice 20 point gain and that's peak a second peak D in the travel wave methodology right here so you might have a little bit of a breather but if I'm correct this is only still a leg B in the five-minute chart. So it could even go higher because it should pull back and then go to a C and a D. Because in the chart way, there's a buy signal, gone to a buy mode. Look, the nine-period moving average is very strong. This is the five-minute E-mini chart. The MACD is very strong. The stochastic is flat at 91%. On balance volume says, yeah, it's getting a little overboard. Maybe a tiny little bit of a pullback. But wow, this is really good action. So I need to continue what I was looking at and just finish that up because I've got a bunch of questions coming in here. So, okay, I'll do this because I can't even remember what I did because I've done so much this morning already. So the Dow trading at a new recovery high of 30, uh, 39,961. Um, at the 40,077 level in the rectangle formation, there should be a rally that takes you to uh, higher highs and higher lows. And if it breaks the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone, which is also the falling X um, uh, criteria, then what we're looking at is a move that should take you just under, right on, or just above the previous high. And that's where if there's a pullback after that of halfway of the entire rectangle, just be really careful. But if a sauce trade above that highest level, that's really positive. And yes, your H is inverted. This is a lowercase W because it's a U with a second U going to it. So basically, it's in a rectangle formation. And a move to 40,078 stars leg E in the monthly chart. That's why I've been saying monthly charts are all very strong. Now I'm going to show you something really interesting. Here is the S&P. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let me just do this real quickly. I had a couple of questions. I, I, let me get to that. So I can't remember what was the first one. I think the first one, let me just go back here. So we've got that, we've got that, got that, got that. When is the time? 9.51. No, it's after 
So VICR is the first one. Yeah, okay, let me just do this. VICR, Technical Friday, so I'll just do that. VICR is not Vicar, but uh, Vicor. Ah, Vicor, that's right, Vicor. Cool. I've seen the name before, but I, I, I don't have anything printed up, but I thought I had peak A, peak B. This is a leg B right now. Um, let me go back because you always have to go back to see if you are correct. You don't want to start a, a wave count from the low that you think is the low, and then it turns out not to be the low, and you have to do everything over again. I'll do this quickly because there's just so much to do today. That's A, A, another A, then a B, then a C, then a D, then an E, then an F, big pullback, then a G. And now you've started a brand new move to the upside, peak A. Yes, this is trading VICR, trading at 36.23, up 83 cents. And I like the action very much. The weekly charts are ugly. The monthly chart is, now what goes after ugly? Very ugly, very ugly. Um, but in the meantime, this looks like a brand new buy signal. It's 68% 60, in the stochastic, ready to confirm with, a, I'm going to put a plus sign. I can't put an up arrow yet. Even though it's a trough A going to a trough B, a nice sharp move down with just two troughs, that's usually good. But I'm going to say I've got it as a plus sign, and that just says it's in leg B, and it's above the previous side. It doesn't even have to close, but it's above that. No matter what I count it as, it's a brand new buy signal. No, I have to put a buy mode. Why? Because you've gone to a higher high in a brand new. Look, that concludes. A G, you can't go higher than a G. You have to change the notation. So that means that that is concluded that has concluded the buy mode and now you've gone down and you started a new buy signal that went to a buy mode because it went above the previous completed buy mode I hope that's clear for the technicians here who are doing chap wave notations so i'm going to put the plus sign in and say um, i normally wouldn't do this it's a little premature not on price but on pattern and the pattern says um Yes, you've broken to your new high, but the stochastic hasn't gone to 80% yet. The unbalanced volume is lagging a little bit, but all the other technicals are very strong. I like it. Uh, who asked for that? Who asked for that? Hello, I think I, I think this is very good. Now, it doesn't mean to say you couldn't pull back to the 35s. It's just saying for the first time um, in the daily chart, you've got a completed buy mode comes down, doesn't take out the left side low, and starts another one. So this is the first time that you can talk about this as if to say on a short-term basis, a daily basis, it's improved a lot. On a weekly basis, it needs a lot more. It needs to see the 9 period moving average cross positive. It needs to see the 39 to 40 area at least in the next, whew, I'd get the latest, I'd say two weeks, I'd probably say um, seven sessions maximum. If we can do that in that period of time, that rising MACD is going to be uh, hailed as a, a kind of a, a foretaste of the move to the upside. Stochastic is trying its best to move higher. That on balance volume in the weekly has to improve. So yes, and I'll also say a close above the high of the week of the 14th, which is a 36.36, and you're trading at 36.11 right now. If it can do that today, that's going to be another positive. But it's a work in progress. I wouldn't get too carried away, but it's saying, hey, when I wrote to my, to him, to my subscribers this morning saying um, that there's a good chance that we're going to start to see the laggards move and play catch up and the leaders take a breather, that's kind of what I'm looking at. Okay. Next question was, can I look at GEO? I thought I looked at GEO the other day. Oh, where did I type that? Probably in the den or somewhere. Okay, GEO. There we go. GEO is, is this thermal something? Oh, no, this, all right, I did this the other day. GEO is a, a GEO group. This is financing, uh, financing support servers for immigration processing centers. Wow, I looked at this a long time ago. We once had a hotel that was for Im immigrants. I don't know what happened. I can't find the name. I was looking for it the other day. Um, so this, I, the moment I saw what it was for, I think this is going to be a fantastic growing business. I like it very much. It's trading at the highs. It's trading at, 
Oh, let me see. Uh, once upon a time in 2017, it was up in the 34s. I think it could have even been higher than that before, but it's a very nice rising trend line with higher highs and higher lows. I like it very much. On a short-term basis, this is leg A, B. That got negated. Aha. Yes, it got negated by a couple of cents. The low on the uh, 15th of May was 12.52, and the May uh, the, the low on the 21st of June was 12.51. How did I see that? Because if you do this enough times over the years, your eye just picks up these penny differences. Blinders. It went to it within a penny. A beautiful left side, right side price time match, and now it's taken out the cup formation. We went from partial to cup, and it's in brand new, uh, brand new A B C, brand new leg C. I like it very much. It's at uh, sixteen forty G O. I think it's going to go to uh, the seventeenth in July. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Tigers, it's back. The annual July Tiger Dollar Sale. If you've been wanting to try one of our products, from our stellar newsletters to educative webinars, now is the time. From now until July 22nd, we're offering a 20, 30, even a 40% bonus on Tiger Dollar purchases. After being applied to your account, your Tiger Dollars will be used for all purchases. They can be easily transferred and never expire. If you want to receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when purchasing Tiger Dollars, now's your chance. This is a perfect opportunity to try out a newsletter or save big on your current subscription. This deal is only available until July 22nd, so lock in your bonuses fast. Go to TFNN.com today to lock in your bonus. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Tiger Technician's Hour is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. 
Hi, folks. So let me just do this yeah, because this is technical Friday. But I think in my in my uh, video overview video for subscribers, and you know, if you want to get these videos, just subscribe to my newsletter. You can do it if it's yeah, you know, it's uh, a month free. You can then cancel at any point. You get all my videos, but you get all my workshops, all those workshops on these patterns, the cup formation, the arch formation, jab wave inside uh, wedge, target repellent line. There it is right here. Look at this. And it said, based on this particular technique, that today is the day that it should test the high that was made on the 9th of April of 1631. And uh, make that dash. It's always a dash light green uh, target support line diagonal support line look it did the same thing beautiful it was one day early in making the low uh, lower low right there in the arch formation and remember the dreaded h when you get the arch formation that's tested successfully and the technicals give you a buy signal and it starts to close for two out of three bars above the arch high that's really positive well it didn't over there but it has done it over the last two sessions. Uh, well, we don't know about today, but it looks like it really is going to close above the uh, 1540s. It's trading at uh, 1605 right now. So, yes, I do like this. It's accomplished the first part of its pattern. And now the weekly chart says, is this a G slash C going because of the H have with instant restart going to a D? Well, what I like to do, breaking out to a new high, 1631, today it went to 1631. It needs one more penny to break to a new high. If it goes to that new high, what I will immediately do is say, well, this is either a brand new A or an old D. But all the technicals are already based on the daily because the daily is the propeller show. That's the rudder that steers the, the uh, it gives you the, trajectory for the next time frame. So that's what I'm looking at. And here again, you've got yourself a cup formation in the bigger time frame. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, I like this very much. So GEO looking very good. I just say that if it does do a digestive phase, the whole area between 1520 and 1450 should be very strong support. Uh, next question came in. Um, Oh, that's what I want you to do. So I said I'd show you some di uh, different things here. Look, and this is what I'm going to discuss. I'm going to I'm going to do my uh, video this weekend and then next weekend. I don't know when I can do my next. Um, there it is, my next webinar. But if and that's not the point, the point that I'm looking at here is I want to get started. We have already made a transition. Oh, I haven't even finished that. Let me do that right now. IWM, the Russell 2000. Yes, this beautiful cup formation, the iShares Russell monthly chart, it's broken to a leg C. Therefore, using the same technique that I just did, there's an inside, chev wave inside wedge, dash green target resistance line. The next level is 219.60. We're at 215.70 in the monthly chart. And um, now there's a, there are three patterns I want to talk about. One right now is this cup formation that went to the H. Look right here, lowercase h, then a lowercase m, and then a second arch formation. Took out the left side low just barely, but then started a brand new move. So you remember we're looking at GEO, and I said the arch, if it's tested, and then you start to get a buy signal, if it closes two bars, two out of three bars above the arch high on the left side, that's really powerful because it can take you to the next level on the upside. Well, we've just done that in the iShares of the Russell 2000. Really good action. And look at this. We've broken out. And I'm calling this a brand new leg B. Uh, yep, leg B. And I've got a buy signal going to a buy mode because it broke out in the weekly chart. So um, there it goes, A. And that's not an F. That's a B. I'm calling it a B. It could be wrong. I'll have to change it. But right now, this breakout. So... We are long. We just missed. I, I changed it. I should never change these things. I changed it the last minute. I An entry point, which would have been under 200.01. I changed it to under 199.01. Well, it did go right here to add to our long position. Right here, it went to 199.88. So we would have actually had our two positions because I was thinking this is the one that I would like. And we, a long time ago when we got into the MJ, that's the um, 
No, it wasn't the MJ. No, it wasn't the MJ. It was the um, GBTC. The Bitcoin, I got in short term and long term. Uh, and uh, both, we held them both, in fact, for a long time, going from the, the 12s all the way to the 50s or something. So this, I don't know if it's going to be the same, but it has the potential. Yeah, it was GBTC. Uh, GBTC is still in a down move. I said this some time ago that I, I, I had the sell signal on the BTC, and I know everyone was looking for the 80 and 90 thousands. I said 75,000. I think it's going down. Well, it's gone down to the 55,000 level, and it still doesn't yet look strong. It will be a little later. It just needs a timeout. So let me go back to what we were looking at. I got diverted only because we were looking at chart formations. So look at this. This breakout now is in a leg D. Do you have a breakout in a leg D? Oh, that's tough. Why? Because D is where other things can happen. That's what your objective is in the buy signal to buy mode. You want to get to a D. But all I can say is this. Within the context of this particular pattern in the IWM, I we want to add to this on pullbacks. Why? Because this breakout going from the SM, even, the, even now the SMH, look, uh, is up 5.07 at 276. But you've got money that's starting to think about, I, I believe, transitioning elsewhere. Well, if the Russell small caps, IWM and IWN, I don't often do the IWN. I used to have it all notated. I haven't got it notated now. It's a slightly different pattern. But it's gone, look, A, B, C, leg D, above all the previous highs. In the weekly chart, it's gone A, B, C, another A, B, C. That went to a D. That's in the Chapman Wing methodology. If you get A, B, C and you pull back and under that, you get another A, B, C. There's a good chance you're going to get an overlapping wave. That's really powerful going to leg D. Well, lo and behold, we got that. Then it pulled back, retested, and now it's broken out to the upside. So look, there's a trend line here. I want to show you something about trend lines in a moment. So what is the IWN? I'll have to read it because offhand, I'm busy clicking away here. There it is. We're right at the resistance level. And that is the Russell 2000 value ETF. And in fact, let, keep your eye on the middle chart, right? Look at this beautiful channel that got taken out. Look at that. Look, channel, channel, channel. Isn't that lovely? I mean, how, does, how do channels work their way up? Now, look at this. Keep your eye on that little chart different. You've got a different rising. The degree of angle that you're rising in the high shares of Russell 2000 ETF is greater than in the value. So I like the Russell ETF, IWM, a little bit better than the IWM and that. And the Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information in one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. 
Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. So I want you to show you this and then I need to I, I just do a couple of things. So here's the evening. You remember I said walking the nine period moving averages. This is, if this is a tech, one of the techniques that you would like to learn from me, send me a note and I, I will think seriously about having a... Um, one of my all day, well, it'll be saying all morning uh, webinar showing just these techniques alone. Um, because, look, I, I mean, look at that. This is like a two click session right here. Look, two click, and it's green in the five, green in the, in the and you only in legs C in the uh, C, and I've actually used a phantom peak in the uh, five minute chart and B in the uh, 10 minute chart. So this is very positive. And this is the E mini. In other words, the E, e mini, the S and P is up 42 after yesterday's action. I said, you've got to get, to get a real sell signal. You've got to get two or three even major sell off days uh, consecutively. So the first day is like, S and P down 56 to 62. Second day tries to opens it really weak. It tries to rally and it closes at the low of the day and it's down another 68 points. And the next day, oh, it does exactly the same thing except it gaps down. And this time it closes uh, at the low. And that's we, we haven't had that. We haven't had that at all for ages. All right, let's go through this. Uh, SWKS Dano says in the den. Uh, first of all, you've got Amazon. So Amazon's uh, trading at 195. It had a high of 201.20 uh, five, five sessions ago. And I suspect this is part of this digestive phase that I'm looking at. Now, the big thing in the uh, weekly, is this a brand new B because that's really positive? Or is this an alternate count G slash B? I'm going to put them both in now because all the technicals are very strong in terms of looking at the um, daily chart, the weekly chart. The stochastic has gone a little bit weaker. The stochastic's at 85%. That's great. So all of these suggest that this, I could put in a G slash B, but my bias is to say that it's probably a B and that, yes, we could pull back, but we won't take out the 170 area, uh, 170 to 165 area. Um, and that's the way I'm looking at it right now. It's a leg C in the month. It's still very strong. Short term, I think it's stuck. Short term, I think it can go down to the 190 to 190 area. Hope that helps you. Uh, I can't remember who was asking me. I think that was Steve. Next thing is SWKS. We were talking about this yesterday. Um, SWKS. Wait, what was I talking about that? Oh, 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 we were talking about that. Uh, was that Dano that you had the option? Yes, this is still, if you've still got the option, um, it's acting. This is what you wanted to see. That break out of the trend line to the upside. This is uh, trading right now at 112.86, up 2.91 uh, over the 200 period. Remember, I said it got stuck at the 200 period moving average. Wow, if it can really go above that, that's really good. So you've got a couple of these positions. Now it's acting well. And that's what I'm saying. This is, look, it's a laggard. It was down in the dumps for a year and a half, almost two years. It's been stuck between 120 something and 90. And now it's starting to move to the upside. Okay, I wanted to show you this. Remember we were talking about trend lines? 
how I like to use them and that I used to hand draw and therefore I've learned to keep trend lines in place for a long time. So I had this as a great trend line all a long time ago. I, I, I darkened it yesterday. Um, this is the monthly chart. And I said, you know, I, I'm going to show you something very interesting. There's a trend line that keeps going up. But in the S&P, this is the S&P monthly chart. This is the cash index, not the SPY, but the cash. I can go to the 666 low of, of March 9th of 2006, uh, 2009. And that trend line comes in. It hit exactly at 4818.62. And look where it is right now. The Chapman Wave Inside Track, it is right there. So I have to say, you know, I know there are a lot of people getting very bearish. I like what I'm looking at. I know that the investor's intelligence or whatever it is has all these uh, bulls. Uh, that, that can fade very quickly by a sudden downturn that has that minus 60 for two, three days in a row in the uh, S&P. It doesn't mean to say it's the end of the world. What I am looking at is, all the technicals in the S&P right now are strong, and yet it's bumping right into what has before over a three-month period been a resistance zone. All right? Ha-ha. Wait a minute. Q, Q, Q. I had this one very faint in background. I just brought it out today. I've made it dashed instead of this very faint background. Look where we are. We broke above this very long-term line. Uh, did I just hear a ping, ping, ping? Let me just go back to this. No. Uh, yeah, isn't that interesting? So, yeah, you're on leg C. Very strong. It's still go to a leg D. Let's go to the comp index. Gosh, I keep losing this information. Let's see if I've still got it. The comp. Where did I type that? C-O-M-P-X. Um, no, I haven't drawn in the same same uh, uh, trend line. Let's just go there. We'll go to the low of 2009, and we'll scroll. I always like to go from the low, and we just scroll. And we go to the major peak right there. No, that one didn't do it. You see, it tells you. You can't tell it. And it's from here that you can get your trend line. And that trend line is, that keeps going, that keeps going, and that's also like the SPY, which is a little different, and that goes all the way to 22,000, and we're at 18,000. So I'm just going to leave that. In fact, I'm putting it back to very light. In fact, I'll, I'll make it so light, I'll make it yellow, and you won't even see it there. You can barely see it, okay? I don't need it until I need it. All right, so with, I needed just to show you something about trend lines, and this is something I'm going to discuss. So I'm going to be doing in my um, overview videos for my subscribers, and boy, it's been a little difficult. They changed the front page. I have to. I'm, I've been getting them out, but I thought, oh no, do I have to do it again? Because I haven't figured out how to do it. Nope, I managed to get it out. Let's hope I can get it out if I do it for tonight or tomorrow morning early. So. I'm going to show you, oh, the trend line. Look at this. The question came in. What was that trend line on the left? Yeah, this trend line, you see that in the uh, daily chart? It's just a trend line. And look how it was resistance inside track, repellent, propellant zone. It went there in a pullback from 503 to 52. Look at the S&P. Using just these simple tools, trend line tools. Um, I could do a trend line right here. Uh, on the upside, look at this, from there to there. It's just joining peaks and troughs. I don't want to do it at the bottom because I've got all these moving averages that act like a trend line. So, yep, you went right close to it, and you're still getting close to it in the S&P. Very strong. Oh, look at this, 46 points today. So I that for, for subscribers, I did have a very very a position I thought about carefully. I wanted to put it on yesterday. I didn't. I thought I'll put it on today only if certain things happen. And I said by 1015, we're going to buy the three times short S&P. This is just because if there's a rally and a failure later in the day and we haven't been taken out, then Monday could see the dip that would be the normal thing. So we've got that. And I'm hoping we get stopped out for less than a
Yeah, for, for about a 1%. Yeah, I think we're out. For 1% loss. I had to have that as a backup insurance because we are only looking at the positive side. I'll be back in a minute. Down to 230. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month's subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, so in the Tiger YouTube team says, Basil, I take the course, I uh, take the class, but I pay attention and take notes so I don't waste your time. People either want to uh, be independent traders or not. Uh, they are just waiting for somebody to give them the signal and not to learn what the hosts offer. They are squandering the wisdom if they do that. Yeah, I agree. So that's the reason why I take it seriously. I haven't done anything for a while. Um, it's really full of incredible information. And I, I can't promise anything like if it was today, what I would have been able to do is to say, hey, you stay long. And we were just gone to sleep because look at this, the money that you would be making just by being, it would be in two click session. Now I, I need to make a starting time like eight o'clock because otherwise you miss out huge trades. I mean, the, the best really occurs in that early period of the morning. Anyway, I'm not doing that right now. I'm gonna, what I'm doing is I wanted to show you Microsoft. I spoke about this ages ago, a technique that I developed way, way back when I hand charted called the Chapman Wave Stalk Leg Formation. You can see you, he has the leg, he has the body, he has the neck. Are we going to get the beak coming down to the 433 to 431 area now in Microsoft? 
I think there's a chance that we could do it. It's trading down 18 cents at 4.54, having hit a 4.68.15 high. We've been in since 3.38 and had trades in between. Yeah, that's what I think. And look at the other one was CDE, uh, another stock that we're long. It's done exactly what we were looking for. There's the leg. I typed this in. There's the body. I said, I'm expecting the neck breakout. There's the break neck. Oh, it doesn't sound good. But there it is, and there's your one-to-one. -one. It's still got quite a way to go in the weekly chart, but it is at a peak C. I think it's got one more pop, then I think gold takes a bit of a breather. Gold and silver might take a bit of a breather next week. We'll see what happens there. So those are the techniques. So let me just do say this. Um, uh, to add just a very brief, like a, I, I think it was a 1% risk today, just to see if there was going to be a reversal after 10, 15. I don't think there is. I think this is a strong market getting a lot back. And there's a digestive phase going on, but now you've got the, the weak links that were weak starting to become strong. That's fantastic. So any anything I do in my video tonight will be like